My brothers and sisters in Christ, we have begun the great season of Lent. The prayers of the Mass sometimes speak of Lent as a campaign, a type of battle in which we try to overcome sin and temptation, which we battle the devil, we battle even ourselves sometimes. On Ash Wednesday, we began this season, and it's a season marked by prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Prayer turning to God, our hearts and minds, listening to His Word, responding to it, fasting, taking less with our food and drink, chastising the body a little bit and being more open, creating space, if you will, for the spiritual. Almsgiving, being more charitable toward the poor. It says in the Scriptures, a single act of charity covers a multitude of sins. Each year on the first Sunday of Lent, we hear about Jesus' temptation in the desert. After His baptism, the Spirit drove Jesus into the desert where He was tempted by the devil. One of the things about going out to the desert is it's a place of doing battle with the evil one. It's a place of silence. It's a place to conquer, if you will, our fears and our temptations, our weaknesses. Jesus was tempted by the devil. He was tempted because he was hungry. He was tempted toward power. He was tempted to show himself to be greater than God himself. But each time Jesus defeated the devil, not by power, but by weakness. He was humble before the Word of God. He was humble before His Heavenly Father, not wanting to tempt Him. He was humble and not wanting to use power to, to rule over people as such. His authority was for service. Pride was the sin of our first parents. And if we want to overcome that first sin of pride, which gives rise to all the other of the deadly sins, then the best way is to be humble to think less of ourselves and more of God, to think less of ourselves and more of our neighbor, to go out of ourselves uh, and seek out what is truly good for everyone around us in a loving fashion. Lent is a time of discipline to help us overcome our own narcissism, our own self-interest, our own self-referential attitudes, and like Jesus, to triumph over the devil. How do we triumph? I would say we cannot triumph without prayer. For if we are to triumph, it is only through Him and with Him and in Him, only in unity with Him. And that comes through prayer and through communion with Him, especially in the Most Blessed Sacrament. Let us therefore be nourished by this food so we are strong to do battle with the evil one, strong in the spiritual campaign.